what's going on guys welcome to today's vlog it is monday the 30th of december one more day left of, left of 2019 and then we're officially into the new decade of 2020 i can't wait to get into the new decade in 2020 i'm really looking forward to it so me and portia are just heading out to argos she's getting a new sims pack today it's a sims university or something like that off the money that grandma gave her for christmas i've got to pick up a multimeter for the 3d printer so the first 3d printer that i bought the one how i3 plus um it's not there's nothing going to the hot end so i need to check that there's any electric going to the hot end if there's no power going to the hot end i know it's the ribbon cable and then we could just replace the ribbon cable which is about 45p to buy we're going to head over to argos and we're also going to head over to halfords i think and pick up the multimeter while we're over there and then um pick up aurora some dinners for sarah and then i've got to head over to the studio pick up the one how and i'm also going to fix um the end of three tonight so there'll be two printers that'll be back up and running all right guys i'm over at the studio now just got back from um running around getting some sim stuff for porsche she's down there at the minute she's doing like a, an aqua bead star wars kylo ren set that i had uh, that i picked up it was on the top of his shelf in here but she sat here bored so she may as well um, finish it off for me i'll finish it down here i've got two printers i've got the um one out i3 mega i've also got the ender 3 those two are coming back home with me because uh, they need to get sorted out they need to get fixed uh, i really need i could really really do with those two machines up and running because in here um there's there's printers on but i'm slowly getting through the printers that aren't working i mean over here i've got these two copy masters i've got the big 400 and i've got the 300 they both need to be working as well so they're next on my list obviously i'm not going to be here tomorrow because it's new year's eve but um, i really need to get the other end of three finished and running because um we've got an absolute ton of orders i've got a rake of orders in and they really need to get sorted out this is pretty fine now this fl sun qq which is perfect i've got everything ready to go home i've got a spare lead i've got all my tools i've got all my parts that i need for these two machines everything's looking good and then in new year i'm going to come in i'm going to completely um spruce up the place i'm going to have um a clean out i'm going to get everything sorted out i'm going to put on star wars lego at the top there all the new stuff anyway um i'm going to sort out in there i'm going to get loads done just sort as much as i can out because in here is looking a little bit scruffy and untidy i've got bits everywhere and crap and shit all over the place so it just needs to be organized properly um, and then it'll be a better place to come in and work from uh, so yeah i'm gonna finish off here and i'm gonna nip over and see sarah with the girls and the boys to see what they've been up to good afternoon guys it is the eve of christmas eve can you put christmas eve new year's eve please stand corrected new year's eve if it was christmas eve again i'd be a little bit worried that santa was coming back imagine we had two christmas eves in one year why? What did you say? I went the eve before Christmas Eve. We said that the eve before <coughs> New Year's Eve. Anyway, we thought we'd check in and let you know what we've been up to. Today, we've not really done very much because we've just been tidying up and getting the rest of like the stuff together, um, like boxes and rubbish and stuff like that that we've just accumulated over Christmas because there was so much of it. We did the tip run yesterday thinking that that was going to be the last one i was wrong i was far from wrong um, there was many boxes upstairs and there's still plenty of rubbish in porsche's room and in Jim's room that needs to rubbish there must be loads of rubbish in your room that needs to go tip that i've not even took out yet i need to go and sort the boys bedroom out later on tidy it up get rid of any other boxes that we don't need i need to finish unboxing um Finality's um, other presents with her because we've not managed to do it. And then hopefully we're going to sit down with Alfie later and do one of his uh, Playmobil sets because we've been promising him and we just seem to be doing something with Vanellope. <laughs> so it's not Vanellope's turn tonight. Hopefully later on we will get to... Um, she's not even had her hair done today. <coughs> it's me. <coughs> no, I'm going to do something with Alfie. Life, tomorrow I maybe here, right. okay um yeah because alfie has been waiting a couple of days and no, he, opened so his he opened this one he opened this one 
Dad oh yeah, he did open his gun, but he needs to do one of his Playmobil sets because Dad promised him. You know. So I'm just gonna change the roller up because that way. <laughs> did I? Yeah. Right. Well, it doesn't matter. You've opened enough. You've opened about ten. What? Yeah, so it's Alfie's turn. Like open, 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 with a bit of luck. <laughs> I'm not counting the chickens just yet. <clears throat> anyway, I'm just going to change Aurora because she had a dinner and she's got it like all over her. She's simply just like wearing it. But they say dirty baby is a happy baby, don't we? So we're going to change Aurora and then we've just ordered takeout for tea. We're going to have um, garlic pizza bread kind of thing and oh no it's cheese and cheese and garlic I think it is. and then we're going to have um like donna meat and chips and stuff we've not had it for a long time so we just thought we'd have a little treat so we're going to get that and we were going to go to the pictures today but dave didn't come back till like half three before it's four and then I don't really like keeping Aurora out past the bedtime unless it's really necessary um, and because we're going to be going out on Saturday well actually it will be Friday or Saturday um, to the Winter Wonderland we don't have to go to the Friday one at half three or go to the Saturday one at half four just because I was meant to be going out with one of my friends and I'd prefer to go out on the Saturday than the Friday Oi! Excuse me! What are you doing to her? Just let go of her. She keeps dragging her around all the time. She doesn't want you to do it. I feel like I'm telling her off all the time, but she just keeps trying to, like, she grabs all the and she hates it. Like, she hates just being um, held. She's just so independent, wants to do her own thing. But Vanellope thinks she could just pick her up and cuddle her. Um, anyway, as I was saying. I would prefer to go out on the Saturday just because if I went out on the Friday I would have to take the car and I wouldn't be able to like relax and enjoy myself. So if we went on the Friday with the kids at least then on the Saturday we wouldn't need to worry about getting in late and having to get up early. So um, we're not too sure. I mean I, I was gonna I'd hate it because we were meant to go out last week and because the dates got changed and we were gonna go to skating this week they said that we could pick Friday or Saturday but I don't know I, I just don't know how to just wait to go out and leave it till the week after but um, I really want to go out though I feel like I deserve a night out I've not been out for two years just over two years I think it is and I just feel like I'm ready for a night out just to have that break because since Aurora's been born it's just felt it's not been horrible but it's just you get to a point where you feel like you're living in a bubble and like you're in a prison because this baby just doesn't sleep she eats stupid things she just she won't eat like normal things she's just so fussy um what are you doing <laughs> she's so funny though um so yeah Anyway, I don't even know what I'm talking about now because I just got distracted by a beautiful princess. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're just going to wait for Dad to come back with some takeout and then we're going to go and do some more cleaning in the boys' room. I may take you with me. Um, she <laughs> I will. Um, and then I really want to take the decorations down. Does that just sound like really no, tight? No. But I really just want this tree out of my life I really want it out of my life for this year I want this year just to be done so I don't want to go into the new year with this tree up I'd rather have that tree down because it's like it's like dragging a bit of 
the year before into the new year. So if we put it away, it won't come out then until the new year. But the kids won't let me, so. You had a shot last year because they did. It was all down before new year, <laughs> I think, was it? Or was it the no, day after? That... New Year's Day took it down, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was New Year's Day, I remember. Um, so, maybe it might be New Year's Day this year. Not too sure. Nope. But Rachel's meant to be coming tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we're having takeout again for tea. We're going to make dinner. We were going to have it for dinner and tea, but we'll just buy dinner in, make it, and then have tea out. Probably have, like, KFC or something. Mm -hmm. and, um, just making the most of the last two days of the year. Why not? May as well go out with a bang. So <laughs> last meal of the new <laughs> Yeah. What was your last KFC. meal of the year? KFC. <laughs> yeah, you can't beat that. <laughs> we didn't have a New Year's Day dinner. <laughs> no, we're not too sure whether we are gonna have a New Year's Day dinner actually. I need to decide whether I'm gonna go and get On New get, Year's Day. Yeah, on New Year's Day, um whether I'm gonna go and get a leg of lamb and do it. <coughs> I think we should have bricks. No. You don't have ribs on New Year's Day, you have a dinner like Christmas Day. Right, you're supposed to celebrate New Year's Day. It is, you're supp everybody used to celebrate New Year's Day like you celebrate Christmas Day. It used to be the same tra tra traditions, didn't it? So it was, everybody got together, everybody had a dinner, everybody got pissed. That was how it, how it was. It's not like that anymore because families just don't get on anymore. Somebody don't like somebody, somebody don't like somebody else. So you just feel awkward because you think I can't invite them and if you invite them, they'll be fighting with them and if they're fighting with them, they'll start and it just, it just goes on and on. We got a cuckoo, on. Baba! That's just the way it is. <coughs> so, yeah, it's just not been like that since around. Like, I remember being a kid and we always used to get together. So it was my aunt, it was my uncles, my nana, it was everybody. There used to be like about 40 of us around the table. But then after, when I got to about... 13, 14, that was it. It just stopped and it was like, why why are we not all having dinner together anymore? I know everybody ended up with families and kids and stuff like that, but it shouldn't make a difference really, should it? You know, because you only live once, you should be making the effort to spend as much time with family as you can. <coughs> so anyway, that's my little rant over for the new year. Christmas and new year. I don't know what my new year's revolution yeah, is. Yeah, I don't, I've not decided what my new year's revolution is. Oh. Maybe to not be as tired uh, and try and get more sleep. Her New Year's resolution is to sleep. Yeah, I'm hoping that, that the doctor's New Year's revolution is to give this child some sleep ah. tablets. <coughs> or sleeping medicine to make her sleep. Yeah, who's that on my shoulder? Who's that on my shoulder? Check back in with you guys, shall we? All right, we are done with New Year's Eve. Eve tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I cannot wait to get out of 2019 into 2020. I think you're bored of hearing that, but genuinely, seriously, in all honesty, take my word for it. 2019, apart from Aurora, has been absolute toss. So I can't wait to get into 2020. So the calendar's um, on the wall over there for next year. I'm going to be filling it in tomorrow and tomorrow. Um, tomorrow and the day after, as you can hear, you can hear baby Aurora in the background crying, this, the kids are still up. We're gonna finish things off here um, relatively early tonight, purely because um, I've got a few printers that need to be fixed. Uh, I've got a few that are going on. Um, going up for sale as well that I don't use anymore, like a Tronxy and a Florian and a Nanocubic um, Linear Plus. There's quite a few of them that I need to get rid of um, and then I need to get some other printers back in to replace those ones because they just, uh, I don't like the way they work, I like my Creality's and I like my Anacubics and stuff like that, so that's what I will be doing, although I just did, did, did say that I was 
Um, getting rid of an anacubic, but I don't like that anacubic. So do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already, make sure you click the notification button, there's nothing, make sure you leave us a comment if you can, and we'll see you guys tomorrow on New Year's Eve, because we do this every single day.